What's up YouTube, my name is Gio, and my relationship with the CW show The Flash can be best described as These are all sin, there are special spots in hell for what they did. This has to be the worst execution of a Flash villain I have ever seen, because she's never been in a leadership position in the first Toxic. I've been watching the show since its premiere and stuck with it during the highs, the lows, and the I'm your super friend. Super friend. Weird. Eventually though, there was a moment where I got to let out my grievances with the show, and that was my video on season 6, which made me want to look back at when I really started to feel a disconnect. This led to my video on season 5, where the problems that may have been there for a while were put on full display for me. Now at the time of me writing this video, the season 7 premiere has just came out, and I obviously watched it. I've been invested for so long, it kind of feels like an obligation at this point. So, with hope for a better season, I sat down and watched the premiere. Only to have that hope shattered, because during the episode, I came to a realization. The Flash will never change. The show has become lazy and complacent with its writing and story. It no longer looks to improve the fundamental problems it has, but rather coasts through the season. Why do I think this, you may be asking? Well, sit back as I try to explain why season 7 can't. Save the Flash. To better understand my problems with this season after just one episode, we need to look at the production going into the season. During season 6, they had to cut production short due to the pandemic, leaving the season with only 19 out of the original 22 episodes. Showrunner Eric Wallace later said that the remaining 3 episodes will become the first 3 episodes of season 7. Now, if you would have told me this a week ago, I would have told you that this is a very bad idea. You can't take any episode and make it the season premiere, because a show's season finale and following season are inherently linked. However, Wallace later went on to say that there may be a few small adjustments made based on how the pandemic would affect shooting. So I thought, okay, they'll probably just change enough in the episode to where the premiere will properly lay out the groundwork for the rest of the season. Spoiler alert, they fucking didn't! Now before I continue, I want to make this very clear that for the rest of the video, I will not be talking about the filming for these episodes, because I understand that with the pandemic, this was, and still is, a goddamn mess. I will purely be focusing on the writing and the story, as it fails to do the proper job a premiere has to do. The job of a premiere is to set up the connection between a show season finale and subsequent next season, and is essential to have both of them build off of each other. Let's use The Flash as an example. Season 1 ends with Barry running into a wormhole to stop it from turning into a black hole. Season 2 picks up 6 months later, where we are shown how stopping the wormhole will have massive implications for the rest of the season, and sets up future plot points such as the multiverse, introducing Jay Garrick, and the ability to travel to other Earths. These kinds of connections go for almost every season of a show. Using the Flash again, Season 2 ends with Barry defeating Zoom, but still feeling broken after the death of his father. Barry then goes back in time to stop his mother's murder, and in Season 3, they show us that as a result of this action, Barry has created a new timeline called Flashpoint. This will later have massive consequences for the rest of the season, as it drastically changed many of Barry's relationships, gave more people meta powers, and created the main villain. You see what I'm getting at? In a TV series, each season builds off of the prior one, and the season premiere's job is to bridge those two together and set up future consequences. And here's where the first episode of Season 7 comes into play. Season 6's quote unquote finale ends with our main villain Eva taking back control of her company McCulloch Technologies by killing her CEO husband and framing newcomer to the show Sue Dearborn for his death. Barry is losing more of his speed while still trying to make an artificial speed force, and Iris who has been slowly feeling the effects of being trapped in the mirror dimension has just disappeared. So that is what's being set up going into Season 7. Now, you would think that episode 1 would address these plot lines and set up the roles they will have to play for the rest of the season. Well, to the surprise of absolutely nobody, it doesn't. The actual episode plays exactly like how it would if it was episode 20 of season 6. Instead of setting up and building off of the last season, it resolves potential plot lines without leaving anything new for the audience to look forward to. Iris isn't losing her mind, it's just Eva fucking with her, and Barry now has the artificial speed force and can be the Flash again. How the hell does this set up for anything for season 7? What about Eva actually being a mirror doppelganger? Okay, sure, that is setting up something. But the problem with that is that the reveal creates a plot hole for season 6. 
At the end of this episode, it is revealed that the Eva we have been seeing is actually a mirror duplicate, and the real Eva died the night of the particle accelerator. Now, I think it's time to play a game I like to call WHY THIS IS STUPID! The game is real simple, I'm going to show on the screen some options on why this reveal is stupid, and you guys have to select the best one. Option A. If Eva is really dead and is found by her husband, why is Iris referred to her as his missing wife? Shouldn't she have found a death certificate in her research? Option B. If her husband found her body, why isn't it public knowledge that she is dead? He gains nothing by lying about her death. Or option C. Eva now has no reason to fight Black Hole if her husband wasn't lying to her, besides the fact that she is a villain. It takes away the concept of this being a revenge story for her, and makes the character less interesting as she now just needs to find a new motivation to be evil within two episodes. I'll give you guys some time to think about it. Okay, time's up. It's actually option D, all of the above, because if the premiere is not going to set up the season for success, why the hell should I do that for you guys? <laughs> Thank you all for playing, and now back to your regularly scheduled content. If this episode was actually released for season 6, it would have been okay, nothing great, just okay. However, by having it as the season premiere without making any changes to make it work, it is pure, unadulterated laziness. The showrunners saw this copy and paste from the writer's room and just let it happen without thinking about the further implications of this action. For example, this episode isn't even about Barry. Yeah, the episode where he gets his speed back isn't really about him. This is actually a Nash Wells centric episode. He finds out that the council of wells in his mind are made of antimatter particles that can be used to power the artificial speed force. However, in order for it to work, Nash needs to be an organic vessel to help the transfer, which will end up killing him and all the other Wellses. After some avoidance of this option, Nash finally realizes that he can't wait any longer for an alternative, and he sacrifices himself, leaving Barry with some final words from all the important Wellses. And a uh, quick side rant, in this episode, all versions of Harrison Wells dies. It's supposed to be this big emotional moment. So why the fuck is Cisco not in this episode? He is the one character that has had a connection with almost every version of Harrison Wells, and you didn't think that there would be an emotional impact by having him there to get his final goodbye along with Barry? J <sighs> Siren over. By having this being a Nash-centric episode, it doesn't set up any of Barry's journey for this season. Even if they wanted to keep 99% of the episode, they still actually could have added something as setup. At the end of the episode, when Barry was talking to the JV squad of Team Flash, he could say that he may have his speed back, but it's not what it used to be, implying that the artificial speed force isn't as powerful as the original. Like, he is still the fastest man alive, but he is more at the speed of what he was before he entered the speed force at the end of season 3. This will set up a journey for Barry to where he has to slowly get faster again, and we can see him start to fight smarter in the field instead of faster. That's it, just one line of something that the audience can look forward to or any kind of setup for the rest of the season. But no, we can't have that because they were too lazy to change the episode around so it could work as a premiere. I'm sure the writers were really proud about how season 6 was going to end, but after they were dealt this shitty hand of pandemic restrictions, they should have all gotten together in a call and figured out how they were going to rewrite this so it properly wraps up these storylines and sets up the rest of the season. And you know what, if this kind of copy and paste happened earlier in the show's run, I honestly may have paid no mind to it. Don't get me wrong, it still would have been a problem, but it wouldn't have affected my view of the show. However, in combination with the fact that The Flash has refused to acknowledge its problems from prior seasons, leads me to think the show will never change. It's still adding characters instead of building off the ones we already have, still doesn't use certain characters properly, and still doesn't get that Barry should be the main character of the show. For more context for these problems, check out my video on Season 6, because everything there still applies. But the point I'm trying to make is that if the showrunners and creators are so incompetent as to just reuse an unused episode's plot, rather than making tweaks to have the episode make sense as a premiere, and on top of that, not addressing the glaring problems the show still has, it just makes it look like they don't care about the show anymore, and that they're just going through the motions. It is one thing to make a bad episode. It is completely different to give so little of a shit 
about the show you are working on to not even try and rework your plan for season 7 so that it has proper setup that actually makes it feel like its own season. Seriously, what do I have to look forward to besides Eva being defeated? We have no hook to bring us back for the next episode. Eva doesn't have a bigger plan that would make us think, oh shit, the Flash may be in trouble. There is no pressure of how long Iris is stuck in the mirror dimension anymore because she's not actually going crazy. And Barry even has his speed back already. So any tension we could have built with that is gone. Yeah, it's only the first episode, but as such, it has to leave us wanting more to see what happens next, where these characters are going, and how the plot will unfold. This episode doesn't do any of that. And on top of it, they barely changed episode 1 from what it originally was supposed to be back in season 6. So then, what is stopping them from doing the same thing with the next two episodes? All these problems are why I'm done. I'm done with The Flash. I will still watch the show, and if you guys want to see me do rewrites of other seasons, I would love to do that. But other than that, this is my last video on a new season of The Flash. Why should I put in the effort for this show when clearly the higher-ups aren't? Who would have thought that it would be a trilogy of disappointment? Season 5 opened my eyes to the flaws of the show. The second half of Season 6 sparked my hatred towards the direction it was heading. And Season 7 has already put out that spark, but has left nothing in its place. I feel nothing for the show anymore. Season 7 cannot save The Flash, because the show has become complacent and refuses to improve. It's just lazy. And that really sucks. Anyway, I do hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of season seven? For me, oh, the show just, the Flash just do so many things just to make me feel really excited for it again. It just, I don't know. I feel like the show is not going to change in the slightest. Obviously, I'm done with any new season of The Flash unless there's some drastic changes. But if you guys want to see me do some rewrites of some old seasons, I would love to do that. I feel like it would diversify the channel a bit and let my creative juices flowing. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys liked it and new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. Also, the channel potential, hit the sub buttons. Anyway, my name is Gio. I will touch you all later. Peace.